Did you see CS2? Not really. I was watching Lyric and he was going over it a little bit. Is CSGO 2 actually a thing? What are they calling it? Hasn't it always been like, fuck, what have they called CSGO over the years? Like CSGO, I remember CSGO Source. I don't remember the one before it. It's literally called CS2. What were they? CS1 points, Global Offensive, Operation Zero. Like, I don't even know. It was CS, CS Source, and CSGO. It's Counter-Strike 2 online. Damn, they're just adding a f 2 at the end of it. Um, let me see if there's like, is there a link I can look at this stuff? Wasn't there a meme recently where someone was joking about CSGO 2? Like someone was just around and now it's actually real. Feel strong, man. Wow. In a Counter-Strike match, information can mean the difference between success or failure. As a result, smoke grenades have become a cornerstone of team tactics. With Counter-Strike 2's new game engine, we've evolved smokes and made them dynamic. Smoke grenades now create volumetric 3D objects that live in the world. Now, not only do all players see the same smoke regardless of position, but the smoke can interact with the environment in interesting ways. It reacts to lighting grows to fill spaces naturally. The shape of the smoke cloud can be pushed and carved by bullets and grenades. In Counter-Strike 2, smoke grenades provide That's pretty cool opportunities. They're just going to look and play better. I thought, I thought it was just going to be like a graphics uphaul, right? But it looks like they've... Oh, damn. Look at that explosion. They actually changed. I won't be playing this game at all. I mean, realistically, I will not play at all. Uh, I don't think anyone that doesn't play Counter-Strike already will be playing this game. Aside from the first week when it's hyped up on Twitch and view counts are high. Maybe drops happen. So, to be blunt... I will not be playing this game. That is the realistic answer, but I might play it for a week. Is there anything else with uh, CSGO 2? You'll play it like you played Valorant. Maybe. Yeah. Well, here we go. Damn, that's old. With over 20 years of history, maps are a fundamental pillar of Counter-Strike. And in Counter-Strike 2, maps are getting a new look. But don't worry, you can still bring along your countless hours honing strategies and exploiting every corner and crevice. We took three approaches to improving maps while retaining their rich legacy. First, there are touchstone maps, classic maps with solid foundations that players can use to evaluate gameplay changes from CSGO to Counter-Strike 2. These have improvements to lighting and character read, but otherwise haven't been changed. Next, okay. we have upgrades. These are maps that use new Source 2 lighting, including a physically based rendering system that produces realistic materials, lighting, and reflections. That water looks weird. And finally, overhauls. The oldest maps have been fully rebuilt from the ground up, leveraging all of the Source 2 tools and rendering features. Hmm. These tools will be available for community map makers to make it easier to build, experiment, and iterate. With upgrades to lighting, player read, and materials in Counter-Strike 2, even the familiar will feel brand new. I can't get over the smoke, though. That's the coolest thing. That's like a massive gameplay change, I feel like. I'm excited to see how that turns out. I don't really care about graphics. Counter-Strike is known for its I'm not really a graphics guy. Gunplay. Now firing a weapon looks pretty simple. You click your mouse, your character shoots, your target takes damage. But there's a lot more happening behind the scenes. In previous versions of Counter-Strike, the game only evaluated moving and shooting in discrete time intervals, or ticks and time between those ticks didn't exist. For the most part- Wait, hold on, that sounded, that sounded important. What did you just say? Something about ticks, bombs? But there's a lot more happening behind the scenes. In previous versions of Counter-Strike, the game only evaluated moving and shooting in discrete time intervals, or ticks, and- Okay, so tick rage. 
time between those ticks didn't exist. For the most part, the experience was seamless. But sometimes those milliseconds between click and tick could be the difference between landing or missing your shot. That's why with Counter-Strike 2, we're introducing sub-tick updates. Now the tick rate no longer matters for moving and shooting. So the I bet whatever the f*** this is probably costs more than everything else that is going on within CSGO 2. The server will know the exact moment you This shit's expensive. Shot, jumped your jump or peaked your peak. And the server That's will the biggest deal. precise actions between ticks. So what you see is what you get. No, it's cheap to do. Okay, dude. <laughs> Interesting. All right. Uh, was there one more video? There's a website. Counter-Strike 2, CS2, whatever the fuck. Okay. Game changer, blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Cleaner, brighter, better. Source 2 tools. Is there already a source, like, can... People make CS maps mod for already. HL1, no. so CS beta versions up to 1.6, then CSCZ, then CSCZDS, CSS, Source, and CSGO, as well as CS Nex and Zombies, CS Online etc. But I'd in what order they got released, otherwise I think pretty much in order. Okay. Um, you know, community map building stuff is usually a big deal like you don't get to really appreciate it until someone makes a really fucking fun like custom map i mean people remember like the zombie game from counter-strike like that was sick there might be some cool stuff like that maybe this getting revamped entirely will kind of revive that player base and there will be like little zombie maps to fuck around with it I, I feel like there's not really any right now because it's not hyped up but yeah that's a big deal the tick rate's a big deal I think the smoke change is a big deal for a competitive Counter-Strike, which is a big deal. And then, of course, the graphics. Seemed like they moved a lot of stuff around, though. Yeah, see, like, this tree was here, now it's not there. So some minor changes. Well, that's awesome. Uh, I'm sure CSGO players are f***ing happy. Isn't everyone just Valorant right now, though? I feel like... Maybe I'm wrong. What's I don't... your review for the oh, new God. apartment now that you've been there a bit? Pretty fucking high. I mean, I love it. It's just expensive, you know? I don't really know the industry right now, but don't, like, Valorant players get paid a f ton more for competitive Valorant than CSGO? CS is as big as ever. I, I see uh, y'all are telling me no, so I was just wrong. I don't know why I thought that. That's fine. That's why I didn't come in saying that confidently. CS has 425 viewers. Skewer viewers. Well, right now, CSGO 2 just got announced, so I think the view count might be heavily swayed to CSGO right now. I don't know. I don't play any of these games. I don't really pay much attention to them either, but I do think CSGO 2 is a big deal. Uh, any idea when this gets released? Was that announced? Also, chat basing salaries off view count? Yeah. I mean... I think the last time I looked at it was maybe when Valorant was a lot more hype. I remember pretty much everyone in the CSGO scene was just swapping over at one point because the salaries were just way higher in Valorant. Probably because every single like eSport wanted to get into Valorant. Summer of 2023. Washed up players are switching, but that's it. I don't think it has anything to do with washed up. I think it has something to do with like their salaries were doubled. But also, I, don't know, I put myself in the position of like a really big CSGO pro. It's like... Swapping over would completely f up your whole fan base. So it's like there's that cost as well. So some of them, even though they get paid more, it wouldn't be worth it in the long run. So April or not April, summer of 2023. What months are summer? How many months is that? June. Okay, so the J's. April, May, June. Wait, that's actually soon. Probably will be in July though, right? Do you really? I don't know. I don't know when fall is. I don't know when spring is. I don't know what months are in winter. I do not know what months are in summer. I barely know the order of the months. That is the truth. And I am, I'm not, I'm not insecure about it anymore. I'm an open book. My straw, my biggest weakness, that and Tetris. I cannot do either of those. It is unfathomable for me to accomplish any of that stuff. Well, not just those two things, but those are the two that come to my head instantly. Tetris and the orders of the month and geography.